Hey guys, Rich here at RC Informer. Today, once again, we got Steve on the camera, and today's flight, we have the maiden flight of the beautiful E-Flight SU-30, folks. This is a six-cell power, monstrously big airplane. Uh, we've already shot a couple of videos of it. We're going to have a lot of videos of this, so check for it at RC Informer. Um, I did a, a really nice unbox, a build, a setup of this thing to show you how easy this thing is to go together. I think it went together with about 12 screws, and that's it. It's kind of amazing to have a really full-featured jet like this. You can get, you can, you can assemble with only 12 screws. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Fit and finish was excellent. To check out all those other videos that go into all the details, all the specs, because I just want to fly today. Uh, check it out on the RC Informer YouTube channel or in the upper right-hand corner of this video. If you click on that round information card, you can do it right now even. It'll drop down a window without interrupting this video. And you can see the other videos we did in the series. And as we do more of them, we're going to add them. We're going to get this thing out on grass. We're going to have missiles and bomb all the whole, because it's got eight missiles that go on it. And um, we'll do, uh, again, grass, pavement, with and without missiles to kind of show you guys uh, how mighty and how awesome this is. Now, I haven't flown it yet. Today is the first flight. Um, it's, it's pretty darn awesome. If you guys check out that unbox video, you'll see all the details, like how to, how to make your uh, nose cone or your tail cone magnetic. The nose cone is uh, already magnetic, which is kind of nice. You can even unscrew that, uh, that uh, pitot tube up front. And today what we're doing is, is we have, and I'll try to flip it up there. Actually, you know, we'll talk about that at the end. I have a Spectrum 5000 uh, smart pack in there to run it on. And we're going to do a quick uh, landing gear check. I got my telemetry in here. So we are at pretty much 25.2 uh, volts, full charge on the battery, and we'll see what we get out of it. Um, speed brake as well. It's not a plane that has flaps. I heard guys are adding flaps to it, but instead it does have a speed brake to help slow it down. Really to slow this down, you get it in high alpha, you fly it in. Uh, you know, at a high angle of attack, high alpha like a delta. But check out the landing gear. I already showed this in the unbox and assembly and setup, but look how nice this gear is, folks. It rotates, goes into the wells nicely, has a beautiful set of doors. That's, a, you, that's pretty cool, isn't it, Steve? That's pretty mighty, folks. Uh, really nice how well that all works. There's antennas and everything all the way around it. Um, CG-wise, folks, um, in fact, you can see this mark. Steve, can you zoom on that? That's at 115. This thing is supposed to have a CG range of 115 to 150. With this, with the battery uh, fully forward, you can't even make this mark. And I've been told just put it all, put the battery as far back in the well as you can, or in the in the battery compartment. And it actually is balancing somewhere right around in here. It's more like uh, probably one, 130, 135, maybe even 140. So, but everybody's telling me that's really where the best place to fly it at is. So, uh, but anyway, uh, without further delay, Steve, let's get this thing rolling been dying to fly this thing. We'll do a quick uh, flight control check here. Let's see what we got. We'll get it out there on the runway. Let me activate my throttle. Looks like we're good. We'll do a run up quick. Yeah, lots of power. There we go. Can't grab that tail cone. All right, flight controls right, left, up, down. I have this set up just like the manual, folks, so no surprises. The ailerons and the elevator are both set up right here at 70%. There's 100% on both. So this is up, down, right, left, left, right, and uh, I think we're good to go. I'll go with full rates to start, and we'll go from there. You ready, Steve? Got the mic on? Man, that sounds good already. Wow, it taxis beautifully. Holy smokes. Right, left, up, down. Wow, nice. Oh, I dig it. It's like flying a... I mean, it really feels big. Here, let me do a little circle with it here. Let me drive it around a little bit. Wow, that handles beautifully. Outstanding. Be sure, folks, to check out our, uh, our Instagram page. Follow us on Instagram. We got stuff going up every day, guys. Also, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for new videos when we put them out, guys. If you guys want one of these, check out our links below the video. If you click on it and get one through our links, that supports our channel, folks. We do appreciate that. All right, you ready, Steve? Let's go flying. All right, let's go. Center line, take it off. Oh, yeah, it's got some power. Oh, lifts right off. Gear's coming up. Yeah, beautiful. I'm backing off on the power a little bit. I'm back to about two-thirds. Oh, it's flying nice. Very nice. Let's get it in a straight line. That's full throttle. 
Little bit of down trim on it. Little bit of left trim. Let me turn it around the other way. I'm just going to trim it up high. I'm going to let the, let the control stay there for just three seconds. It looks good. All right, let me bring it down low, Steve, now that it's uh, trimmed up. Coming in hot, baby. Yeah, I like it. I'm already a fan, Steve. Vertical. High rates on everything. Rolls a little sluggish. I might mess with that later. Power's off. I'm just letting it kind of fall. Pulling back on the stick. Power's coming back in. Nice flyer. A little sluggish in the roll, but hey, it, it, it seems to fly well. Let me try it inverted here, Steve. Oh yeah, really nice. Very smooth. Very smooth jet. Wow, it turns nice. Holy smokes. Outstanding. I like it. I'm back at about half throttle here, guys. Power's coming in. Oops. A little too much over controlling there. It has a little sluggish nature to it in the pitch, so that's just something to get used to. Whoa, oh yeah, okay, it went into, ah, uh, I see what it's doing. Yeah, it has a sluggish nature to it, but it's just something you have to get used to. It, it'll, when you yank on it, it gets into that high alpha, and it just seems a little awkward. Very little negative it needs. Outstanding, yeah. Excellent, I like it. So you fly an airplane. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, it, it flies fantastic. Holy smokes. Let's get it down uh, low here. Very different from uh, other planes, though. It feels... Uh, it's awesome, though. Holy smokes. Wow, look at it getting into that high alpha turning. Holy smokes. Yeah, it'll turn tight. It definitely is a big airplane. Holy smokes. All right, Steve, let's bring it in. Because I hear that this thing has a shorter flight time. So I got the speed brake deployed. Power's off. Yeah, power's totally off. Yeah, it just wants to fly and fly and fly. That's a lot hotter than I need to fly it, but we'll get another battery in there. Let's see if it'll even stop till we get to the end. Let's see if I can... There we go. I got it slowed down. Speed brakes out. Yeah, I, it just takes a little time to get comfortable with it. Let's take a look at the battery. And uh, I think, Steve, we might just throw in another one and go. Nope. We'll make that actually the next flight, but let's uh, let's go with it. Outstanding! Look at this thing, speed brake and everything. Let's take it up next, Steve. Let's do that in the next video. So guys, stay tuned. Watch in the next video. I'll put the speed brake down. Check out for the next video, guys. We're gonna do some uh, we're gonna do some landings with it just to get kind of comfortable with it. I came in way too hot. This thing goes right into a high alpha and settles nicely and lands. I was just too smoking hot. But uh, let's take a look at the battery and see what we got here. Nice flying plane. In fact, actually, you know what? We don't even need to do that. Steve, what am I talking about? A lot of these planes that we've been doing lately, they've been so small that I haven't been able to do my telemetry. But uh, actually, you know, we will pull the battery out. But let's take a look. What do we got there? 22.43. Actually, we don't need to. Look at that. 38 percent or 3800 out of a, out of a 5000 so whatever we got from takeoff to landing guys that's the uh that's the flight time we'll get out of it and in fact let's do this even though we got the telemetry let's just plug in the meter and let's see uh what the meter is showing as well it's a little warm in here i can tell everything's a little bit hot here yeah baby yeah it's a little bit warm what's that 24, 24 that's the wager all right we need to start a contest like what's the What's the who's gonna guess? I think I'm guessing I bet you were at 15. I think I went lower uh, Here hold on a sec. Let me get uh, Let me grab a tool here something to get the battery out I don't like the strap the way the straps are right here Steve I'm gonna have to I may have to pull up the battery floor at home and pull them out of here because my battery straps are not sliding They're glued in there, so I can't like rotate them to get them the way I like them. So uh, let's pull this out and we'll take a look. Yeah, it's a little warm in there. There are cooling holes, folks. Steve, you want to get right under that nose right there? Yeah. 
yeah, there's cooling holes, but uh, it still is a little bit on the warm side. Let's uh, pull this thing out of here, and let's see what we got. It's hot, but it's not, it's not puffed or anything. It's in good shape. Let's, uh, let me get my old dude glasses on here. Let's see what we got. Old guy's rule, man. Let's see what we got here. Plug this baby in. Let's see what we got there. Oh! 18! There it is! See, just wait a minute. <laughs> well, I think I've been doing this a little while. I can figure some stuff. You got it okay? Yeah. Yeah, and this is, guys, this is the uh, 5,000 50C pack, okay? We're going to do, uh, in the next video, check for it. We'll do it, like, right after this. We're going to put in the uh, the 7,000 pack. We'll push it all the way to the back and see, uh, see how it does on the 7. But, folks, really... Really sweet airplane all the way around, folks. I really like it. Uh, it's nice. It's nice and smooth. It has a little bit of a rubbery feel to it. We'll talk about that a little bit, but it's very smooth in pitch. It's not meant to be, you know, something where it just immediately changes direction, but it's a great flyer. It goes into that, it goes, settles into, when you turn, even at high speeds, it gets into that high alpha and it stays flying. So somebody's flying over there. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, guys, please uh, check this out at... Uh, at Horizon Hobby, it's an E-Flight, the E-Flight SU-30, really sweet airplane. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We will put that in the upper right-hand corner, folks. Uh, so uh, feel, feel free to click on that. Again, we got an unbox, assembly, uh, setup of this thing, and then we're going to get missiles on it. We'll fly with bigger batteries, and then we'll even get it out on the grass. So anyway, check out our Instagram, folks. Check out our Twitter account. We're putting up posts every day. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. Steve, thanks for filming, and guys, stay tuned. The next video will be out right after this. Appreciate you guys watching, and as always, we will see you guys next time. Get it down low. It alphas around that turn. I love it.